Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here's my attempt at an Olaf decal. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. So I first saw these plates on my friend Natasha's YouTube channel and I immediately thought I have to have those. So it's a company called BBF and this is the package that I got from them with my embossed design on. And the actual plates I'm going to be using is BBF 27. So as you can see, it's got loads of frozen characters on there. Really, really cute. And then I also received this personalized plate. Now this is great for decanting sort of polishes or gel polishes on if you want to do nail art and it cleans really easy. So I was so excited to get that. The stamper I'm using is from Uber Chic and it's their medium non-sticky. And then you'll be needing some polishes to colour Olaf in. So in particular, an orange, a white, a black, a brown, and then a regular top coat. And I will put all the items in the description box. When I was looking through my gel polishes to decide which sort of frozen colour I was going to go for and I picked out these three and I think they're gorgeous. So I'm just going to go through these just in case you wanted to know which ones they are. So it's the first one there, it's from Light Elegance and that's called Diamond. The middle one is 391 and it's called What A Night from Madame Glam. And then the final one is Dream Diamonds and it's 128. And you will see later on that I was going to do it over the middle one and then I changed my mind and did it over the first one. So you will be needing a few sizes of dotting tool and a fine detail brush if you have one just to colour Olaf in. So I'm going to get straight on to it. So basically all I'm doing here is stamping the image. And then all you need to do is colour him in. Now we are doing this in reverse, so you need to do all the coloured detailed parts first. So nose, arms and buttons. And then wait for that to totally dry before you then go in with your white. And then once this is dry again, you can do a second coat of white. And just in case you were wondering where Anna went, she was removed with a lint roller. <laughs> So now you can apply your top coat and I would do a generous amount in a floating motion so you don't smudge the image. And then I'm using a very thin spatula to sort of ease the decal away around the edges just by applying some pressure and then I'm going to slide it underneath really carefully to remove it. So here he is and I'm really pleased with the way he turned out, he looks super cute. So as you can see I did it over the dark and then decided against it because I thought you wouldn't be able to see. So I did put it against the diamond background. So I'm just clipping around the edge of the decal, you can do this with a brush and some acetone as well. And then I'm going to top coat this twice with the Light Elegance Top Coat and Cure. So that's the finished design done and it's not perfect I know but you get the gist. So I hope this has been helpful guys and I'll see you in the next one which is probably going to be a Christmas one. Bye!